Hey folks, Jones here. Got another cut test for you today. Today we're going to be testing the Ontario Rat Model 1. Blade steel is AUS 8A at a hardness of about 56 HRC. The blade is 0.5 millimeters thick right behind the edge and the edge was sharpened freehand to 32 degrees inclusive. It's taken up to about a 2000 grit silicon carbide and then dropped with the Hand American 0.5 micron diamond spray and it is a hair whittling edge. So the platform for this test is going to be similar to what J Davis 882 uses only I've modified it a little bit. Uh, John generally uses a hardwood cutting board which if you think about it is really introducing another variable into the test because not only are you testing for the you know, abrasive resistance of the steel but you're also testing for toughness when the steel impacts the cutting board. So for this test I'm using just a regular 2x4 clamped in my jaw horse. 2x4s are generally you know, rather soft as far as wood goes so it, it should decrease the amount of uh, edge damage and eliminate that variable from the test. So let's get started. Um, it is razor sharp. Now I've got three feet of three quarter inch sisal rope unwound into three strands. Shortness after the first few cuts. It don't doesn't appear to be any edge deformation at all. Still glides right through that paper. Sticky sharp. It's one of the benefits of the the diamond stropping sprays is they leave you with a ridiculously sticky edge. That, that's really the only way I know how to explain it. Very very fine micro teeth on there, which really aid in cutting. This, this blade is just gliding right through the rope with really only probably a few pounds of pressure. It's somewhat amazing considering how thick this edge is. Like I said, it is 0.5 millimeters thick right behind the edge, which is relatively thick. This uh, specific rat one right here has been used and sharpened quite a few times, but from factory, at least most of mine were about 0.3 to 0.4 millimeters thick right behind the edge. So they really, they cut very well, especially for the price. Also I have you know, heard a lot of conjecture online that Ontario has stopped making the wrap one and get them all you can. Uh, that's simply not true. Um, I actually spoke with a representative a while back that said that you know they are still producing the wrap one and still uh, sending out shipment, shipments to various companies. So it's still being made. You still have plenty of time to get one. If you don't own one, I highly suggest you buy one. They are amazing knives for the price. You can get the black handle plain edge versions for about $23 and change if you shop around. And one of the best valued folders out there. 
really do wish that their uh, AOS 8A was run a little bit harder because 56 HRC is rather soft. In fact, that's what a uh, Victorinox heats their uh, you know Inox steel to. You know, from experience, the Victorinox blades are, are rather soft. That's really the only detrimental aspect of this knife is the softness of the steel. But it, it does hold an edge very well considering that. As long as you don't do anything stupid that is. Not cutting on metal or wire or something like that. This thing is still just gliding right through that rope. Very, very little resistance. And the handle is extremely ergonomic. There, there's really no hot spots to speak of. At least with the clip the way I run. I generally run my folders with the, the clip oriented so the blade is up tip down. I know that's not trendy nowadays, but that's really the most comfortable for me in a use. Alright, so we finished three feet. Let's check for sharpness now. A visual inspection of the blade doesn't appear to show any sort of uh, deformation or anything yet. We shall see. We might have something. I guess it was just me. Not quite as uh, sticky sharp as it was a minute ago, but it, it'll still cut the fire out of you, I guarantee that. So, let's continue. Speed this up a little bit. I don't really want a 20 minute long video. I'm sure, you don't either. I'm trying to distribute the wear over most of the, the edge so it wears equally. still amazed at how easily just bites through that rope. If you haven't watched any of my previous videos, that's also one of the reasons why I generally choose to leave a rather refined toothy edge on my blades. Because the toothy edge, it just it cuts much more aggressively and it maintains that cutting aggression for much longer than a polished edge does. It doesn't look as pretty, and I'll give you that, but you know, I could really care less what my edge looks like. As long as it cuts well. Six feet. A visual inspection of the edge. 
I do see some uh, slight glints of light coming off of the apex. Just look, looks like very, very tiny. Looks like micro rolls. Should still cut though. Could be wrong. super stills and everything AUSA is often overlooked but really for a, a, a low cost folder AUSA day is great especially for everyday use I mean we don't need you know S30B or CPM Rex 121 or anything just to open packages and letters and stuff although it's nice sometimes HRC, it's not going to have a whole lot of, um, I'd say, resistance to plastic deformation, which is basically the steel bending or rolling or something like that, deforming. few little abnormalities on the apex. Very, very hard to see. Most people wouldn't even notice it. But much less than one would expect for a steel like a US-8. So let's check sharpness now that we're done.
much more proof do you want? It's still sharp. Actually, let's see if it'll still shave. Doesn't have a lot of arm hair. You can see that. What the bead finder? That would be my arm hair. So after cutting nine feet of rope, a bunch of paper, it is still shaving sharp. So for all the people that think you need super steels today, you really don't. A US 8A will do it. Especially for a $23 knife. It's quite impressive. Now it is a little bit duller, more dull, uh, after that test. So I will go put it on my wicked edge and get it back to sharpness. The edge feels a lot toothier now than it did originally, but still very impressive. So I won't waste any more of your time. But thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.